Wow, I love baby carrots. Everyone working their asses off at the gym to put on muscle knows that they need enough protein to achieve that. While it's true that you get some form of protein in your daily foods, things can go south really fast if your protein intake relies on a McDonald's cheeseburger with extra bacon. If you want to get leaner, you need foods which are packed with protein and also keep you in a caloric deficit. These 8 foods that I'll be talking about in this video are a great way to stay low on calories while still consuming high quality naturally sourced protein. And for all you vegetarian or vegan fans out there, I got you covered too. You're wondering what these foods are you gotta stay tuned to find out What is up people, I'm Adwai and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here, we talk all about fitness and fashion for men by skipping through all the BS and today, we're getting you off the McDonald's diet and getting you leaner, healthier sources of protein. First up, we have whole eggs. Eggs are one of the best sources of lean protein out there and they also contain all the vitamins except vitamin C. It's a highly nutritious food as it basically has everything a baby chicken needs to grow in. One large egg usually contains 6 grams of lean protein, 5 grams of fat and just 78 calories. The way you cook them really matters though. I would try to avoid using any form of oil and would rather go for boiled or scrambled eggs to keep the calories low. You can always have a couple hard boiled eggs for a snack instead of reaching out for a bag of chips. Unless you're a vegetarian or a vegan, eggs should be a part of your diet. Number two, and you all saw this one coming. Yes, I'm talking about chicken breast. I agree that you can get any cut of chicken and still get a decent amount of protein, but I'm specifically emphasizing on boneless, skinless chicken breast. This is the leanest cut of the bird, meaning it has the lowest fat content. One whole chicken breast is about 160 to 180 grams, will usually contain 56 grams of high quality protein while just having 280 to 290 calories. It's my go-to source of protein for dinner and there's a ton of great recipes out there to make sure your every meal tastes delicious. Protein source number three is fish, more specifically white fish. It's a well-known fact among athletes and bodybuilders that salmon or any red fish is an excellent source of protein and omega-3 fatty acids. But did you know that white fish can offer the same benefits but with a lower fat content? White fish is a great source of vitamin B6 which fights inflammation in your body and it also makes your bones stronger. Plus it's arguably the easiest protein source on this list for your body to digest. You can go with fish like flounder or tilapia that are relatively easier to cook and they taste absolutely delicious. You can bake them with a slice of lemon and some thyme like I do or put them in a curry or a stew and eat it with some rice or quinoa. A 100 gram serving will typically have 24 to 28 grams of protein and fats between 2.7 to 8 grams depending on the fish you're using. Alright, you know the drill. Before we move on with the video, if you like this type of content and are tired of the generic bullshit advice given out on most YouTube channels and you're serious about improving your health and the way you dress, make sure you hit that subscribe button and help out the YouTube algorithm grow my channel. Now, I'm not a huge fan of red meats when talking about lean protein sources, but this one surprisingly made the list. I'm talking about ground beef, but there's a catch. You can eat this one only if it's extra lean ground beef. I'm not talking medium, I'm not talking lean, I mean extra lean ground beef. Sounds like a sweet deal to me considering you're getting 24 grams of protein in just 165 calories for a 100 gram serving of extra lean ground beef. Now compare that to 14 grams of protein for 240 calories of medium ground beef, which don't forget it also happens to have a shit ton of fat. I have some serious beef with medium ground beef. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it and put it in there somewhere. I usually use this in my pasta or when I make some burgers or just put it on the grill when I'm feeling too lazy to cook something elaborate. Still a thousand times healthier than McDonald's though. With the fat content sitting just around 5%, it's a great way to consume red meat while still staying low on calories. Protein number five is cottage cheese. Now there's different fat percentages you can go with for this one. I typically go with 1% as it's the leanest option. This low fat one might be your best bet considering you get 13 grams of protein and 90 calories for just half a cup or 125 grams of cottage cheese. You can eat it as a snack by itself or it's a great addition to salads and even smoothies. What I normally do is get half a cup of cottage cheese with some fresh berries and a light drizzle of honey and eat it as a dessert after dinner and it tastes delicious. It's a fantastic option if you're a vegetarian. Number six is a smoothie's best friend and that is Greek yogurt. You get up to 18 grams of protein and 100 calories for a 175 gram serving which sounds pretty good to me. While it goes great with smoothies, you can also use it in your cooking as well. You can make some great creamy dips like tzatziki using this one or add water and turn it into a drink. Tzatziki. Tzatziki. I hope I said it right. If not, just let me know in the comments down below. 
or my favorite, you can add some toasted walnuts, honey, and some finely chopped fresh mint to make it a great summertime dessert. It's again a great option if you're a vegetarian. Number seven is chickpeas. It's probably already a staple in your diet if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. Chickpeas, along with some other lentils, can be cooked into a wholesome, satisfying meal. These little gems are packed with 19 grams of high quality plant protein, and just 364 calories for a 100 gram serving, which is not too bad if you ask me. Now, if you're scratching your head for recipes, there's some great Indian curries that you can try out in the kitchen. In a healthy way, of course, without all the butter. But if you wanna keep things simple, you can go with hummus, which has a more mild flavor profile and is something everyone loves. Wish I had some with my baby carrots earlier. Lastly, number eight, we have tofu, which is basically cottage cheese for vegans. It's a soy-based product and you get about nine grams of protein per 100 gram serving in just 76 calories. There's a bunch of recipes out there dedicated just for tofu. It's used in a variety of foods, but mainly in Asian cuisine. You can also make some great salads with it or slice the tofu super thin, drizzle some oil and throw it in the oven to make some great tofu chips. They are an amazing snack, trust me. And that was my list for some of the leanest protein sources you can try by keeping the calories low. No matter where you get your protein, Protein from as long as you're getting enough protein for your body to build muscle you should be fine a general rule of thumb for that is to consume 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of your current body weight you stick to this one rule and there's no way you cannot put on lean muscle thank you all so much for watching I hope you found value in this video please click like if you did and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I'll catch you guys soon